Hi guys, today I want to talk a little bit about meal planning. I plan out our monthly menu every month just before I go make our big giant grocery shopping trip for the month. But today I want to talk a little bit about the weekly schedule and how I choose what meals to go on what day of the week. So let me tell you a little bit about me and my husband's kind of work schedules and like schedules with the boys so that you kind of get a better idea. We both work a regular, you know, Monday through Friday kind of job, but I have Wednesdays off. So I work Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. My husband works Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And Mondays and Tuesdays, I'm in charge of the boys in the morning. I get them ready to go to grandma's and pick them up from grandma's. On Wednesdays, I'm home all day with the boys. And Thursdays and Fridays, my husband's in charge of getting the boys all ready in the morning and taking them to the other grandma's. And then I pick them up on Thursday afternoons and my husband Justin picks them up on Friday afternoons. So that's what we're looking at. So essentially Wednesdays are my day home and I get to make bigger meals. So I always make the stuff that has more planning involved, more cooking involved, just more time, uh, more time consuming meals I like to make on Wednesday nights. For Monday and Tuesday, since it's the beginning of the week and nobody knows what they're doing anyway, we always make more simple meals. Mondays are definitely uh, very simple, easy, no prep or very little prep involved meals. So those are like grilled cheese sandwiches, quesadillas, um, any kind of wrap or sandwich or super easy meal like anything that's like easy peasy that's what we have on Mondays on Tuesdays we like to do leftovers on Tuesdays and that I will talk a little bit more about when we get to the weekend days like I said Wednesdays I have extra time so I can actually make meals that are a little bit more extensive Thursdays are our like medium prep meals like tacos or like enchiladas stuff that needs a little bit of prep work but not a lot of time and Fridays are fun meals which are like burgers sloppy joes um pizza fun stuff anything that's a meal like fried chicken like Meals that we think are our favorites, like favorite meals. That's what we do on Fridays. And then Saturdays, I always try to do one big meal on either Saturday or Sunday. It just kind of depends if we have like a lot of stuff going on. Like if we have birthday parties or family gatherings or we're going to be eating elsewhere, then I don't worry about it until Sunday. Or if we're doing stuff on Sunday, then I'll make the meal on Saturday or whatever. We just make one big meal on the weekends and all the other weekend meals are just kind of like whatever sounds good at the moment. And then we use the weekend meal for leftovers on the following Tuesday. If you are interested, you might be thinking, I thought you were going vegan. Why are you talking about burgers and sloppy joes and fried chicken? <laughs> well, I make my own style of meal separate from my husband for some things. Sometimes we eat a full vegan meal all together. Sometimes I just alter a couple little things for him or for me or whatever. And I will leave a link down below to my blog post all about that. I have a blog post all about like meal ideas for vegan slash vegetarian slash meat eating households where we can please everybody in the house. So I'll leave a link down below to that. It gives like a lot of different of common meals that we eat and stuff that might help you out trying to if you're in the same boat where you like have a meat eater husband but you're a vegetarian or whatever or the other way around or whatever it kind of gives some ideas on how to alter things without making like really two completely separate different meals and it's not like that's totally set in stone for the week. Sometimes we switch things up and do something different. Sometimes we like really don't feel like cooking, so we'll go out to eat and then we'll use what we were gonna make that day a couple days later or whatever. It's not like it's super duper set in stone, but it just helps me get an idea on what we need for groceries for the month. So I like to plan everything out. So my big tip for you guys would be to take a look at your schedule and if there are days that are just more stressful than other days, like if you have, the kids have practice on this night or, you know, maybe you always work late on this night or Mondays are just 
bad days overall, just take a look at your personal schedule with your family and try to customize your meals to fit in with what's going on in your everyday life. And that's how I get through meal planning for the whole month. When I have a schedule for what's going to happen on what day, it makes it a lot easier to make a whole, you know, four or five week meal plan. If you want other tips for meal planning and making one big giant grocery trip, I will definitely leave a link down below to the video I did in like, January or February and I think it was just all about like tips for monthly meal planning or something like that so I'll leave that down below for you guys if you're interested keep in mind that I made it while we were when I was not going vegan or vegetarian we were all eating like all the same things so I'll leave that down below along with a couple other blog posts that might be kind of helpful for you guys in the meal planning department so I hope this video was a little bit helpful or kind of interesting. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what other kind of videos you guys want to see here on this channel, and I'll talk to you next time.